Sir, okay, it's a challenge. Because will you denounce it? You said it on record. The TV recorded it. Yes, that's right. We have to be fair, no? I am trying to be fair, Secretary Roque. I was no, not... No, not. UP journalism professor Danilo Ara was saying, he put out this challenge on his Twitter account. UP faculty and alumni who are Duterte's top level officials should denounce Lorenzana's letter terminating the 1989 accord. This disregards everything UP stands for. Should they remain silent? A six word question. Where is your honor and excellence? So let me ask you, sir, are you denouncing this letter by Secretary Lorenzana um, as a former, as a UP student and as a former UP professor? Are you denouncing it? I'm asking the uh, DND secretary and the president of UP to sit down, and I have offered my good offices to facilitate this meeting. But the word is denouncer. Didn't denounce you who by ito? And we're not speaking as a presidential I'm spokesperson. I'm also a presidential spokesperson. Well, there's really no such thing, you know, when you are a presidential spokesperson. All I'm saying is, let's talk about this. I support the steps of the UP president, and let's see why a 30-year-old accord should not be continued when it has worked apparently perfectly well in the past 30 years. Uh, so that doesn't make you silent on the issue because you're actually taking a stand. And I'm not duty-bound to follow anything that Professor Arau says. All right, presidential. More academic than him. Presidential spokesperson Hari Roque will still be with us after the break. Later, we're going to talk about. But you know, Pinky, I have to highlight the fact that I think the question on Arau was unfair. In the first place, why am I duty bound to follow anything that Professor Arau says? Mm -hmm. You made it uh, appear as if it's compulsory for me to follow him. I spent more time in UP than him. Okay. And I think. Uh, as I said, I even have a, 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 I'm even a more senior academic than him. No? So it was not a fair question. I'm not duty bound to follow anything that Danny Arrow says. Right. And should not. You know, don't I'm the same thoughts, no? Smokes, don't get me wrong. I, I wasn't saying you're yeah. duty no, bound. You were wrong. You I, were as implying as if I had to follow what Danny Arrow says. Well, what, what is the basis for that? It was a There's tweet, no sir. It was a tweet, Spokes, and then. It just yes, said but you that said I had to follow him, and if I did not do as he did, then I have no honor or excellence. Is that a fair question? That's no, I didn't say that, Secretary Roque. That's I what did. he said, though. That's what he said, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm calling you out for that. Uh, Secretary Roque, okay, um, just to be very clear about this, it was a tweet that I read, and I asked for your reaction if you would denounce it. And then yes, after uh, that... It's, a, it's implying that I should follow what Danny Arrow says. And where is the basis? Tell your viewers now. Where is the basis that I should follow what Danny Arrow says? It's not just you asking for a reaction. You were pursuing. Will you denounce? See? So it's not just a reaction. You wanted me to answer Danny Arrow. Why should I? And is that fair on your end? Okay. Then, then if you say that, why should you answer it? And if you answered it that way, sir, then I would have to take it as is. It was just a challenge. Yes, but you're pushing the point. Well, because... You're going beyond asking for my reaction. Sir, okay, it's a because challenge. Will you denounce it? You said it on record. The TV recorded it. Yes, that's right. You have to be fair, no? I am trying to be fair, Secretary Roque. I was no, not... No, you are not. You are not. It's as if, if I don't agree with Arau, that I have no sense of excellence or honor. Absolutely not. I never meant that. Please don't think that, uh, Secretary well, Roque. I would have never, I would have never I meant that. I certainly take offense that I have to follow anyone else's uh, um, um, advice, no? It's okay. not right.
When a woman tosses her hair, it's typically a sign she's trying to lure you in. Women tend to preen or groom themselves subconsciously when they're attracted to someone. Huh? Attracted to someone? Mm. Well, maybe not in this case. People will use flipping of the hair as a way to signal a transition or anxiety. It is like the person wants you to know to move on to another topic. So just to end this topic, how would you like to how do you, how would you like to end this, sir? This uh, issue uh, I, on I have never experienced being in UP with soldiers or military. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like to facilitate the discussion between the UP president and um, the Secretary of National Defense. I'm offering my good offices for them to have this conversation. All right. And of course, I think it has to be discussed why a 30-year accord, which has been in place, should be revoked at this point. Fair enough, sir. Can we move to another topic now? Uh